Missio. My name is Sandy Tinbo. Ken and I have been a part of Missio for about seven years now. And since I'm not a politician, I'm going to read my comments. I'm grateful to be on the leadership team at Missio right now. Um, current vision of renewal and restoration reflects a desire and plan of God to make all things new. I'm interested in processing ways of renewal and restoration within ourselves, within our community, our neighbors, and our city. We can all be very hopeful, as Paul reminds us in Ephesians, to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power at work within us. I will imagine and I will ask confidently of our Lord to help us in this process. Hey, Miss Yell, how's it going? My name is Julie Chang and I am one of the new advisors here at the church. I said yes to the role because I believe that it's important to have people of color represented in the church and for the voice of the marginalized women of color to, to be in the spaces of leadership and um, to represent in meetings that make decisions regarding the kingdom of God and uh, our church organizationally, I guess. I. Um, have been praying for our church a lot. I have been praying that we would have the ability to responsibly engage with the community around us and in the city in a manner that is uh, representative of God, his love, his truth, his kindness, his goodness, his gentleness, even his self-control. <laughs> so I, um, I don't know why I just laughed at that, but anyway, I, that was so cheesy. I've been praying for our church. I've been praying for uh, people in our church to step up in leadership and to be a part of something bigger and something greater and, and what the Lord is doing around the world. And I think our church is in a great position right now of change and we're able to be early adopters of what I actually believe is happening nationwide where we're leveling out areas of power and allowing the Lord to lead us all together. So yeah, I'm excited. Hi, Missio. My name is Christy Nellermo. I'm one of the advisors to the Elder Board. I've been attending Missio Day for six years and a house church leader for five of those years. Um, I love Missio. I love Salt Lake City, and I'm super um, encouraged by uh, just this role and have learned a lot in just the three months that I have been part of this team. My hope and prayer for Missio going forward is um, that as a community, we continue to fully understand what it means to um, be renewed by the Holy Spirit and to bring renewal into our neighborhoods and into our, into our families and into ourselves and through the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. Um, in a season of just unrest and so much going on in the world, um, I think that there's a lot of hope the church can bring um, and comfort and anticipation of a future um, behind Jesus. And so I'm excited to be part of a team that's thinking about that and praying about that and um, excited to get to know more of you in the community. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, Miss you. My name is Jessica Trostel. And at first when I was invited to be an advisor, I lacked a lot of confidence and a sense of belonging. But um, I decided to say yes in part because of the encouragement I received from Missio community and also I didn't want my insecurities to limit what God might be doing in me and in Missio. Um, in my hopes and prayers for Missio in the coming years, I feel so thankful for the relationships I have within Missio. They've been real and hard and beautiful and connecting and I just hope and pray that Missy would be a place where people would be connected in the body of Christ um, in the midst of differences that we would challenge each other that we would encourage each other um, to be more like Christ and that we would extend his love to everyone 